Welcome back to the channel. I am super happy that you're joining me today. I'm inside this beautiful single story home here at Lenar, Luca 1 and 2 in the beautiful Inspirata Henderson. So I'm pretty excited about this guys because there is a massive RV parking here. Plus, it's so open. Like the floor plan, as you can see, it's uh, is gorgeous and beautiful. So therefore, check out the entire tour. Before we proceed, I wanted to invite you to like, subscribe, and make sure to put those bell notifications on so that every time I post a video, you don't have to worry about missing it. You'll be able to see it right away. Now, I wanted to mention guys, there are available moving ready home. Check out the screen for the available moving ready home. Of course, I'm here for you. If you hire me, I'll be able to represent you and negotiate for you. Especially that NAR has an ongoing special financing rate. In fact, one of my buyers was able to get below 5% interest rate it's all about negotiation guys so therefore contact me in the screen if you want me to negotiate the price and the interest rate for you okay so this one is a very interesting one it has an rv garage single story in a very nice community of inspirata henderson one of the safest cities in the united states if you google that henderson will pop up is one of the safest cities in the United States of America. Check out the playlist of the channel page if you missed some of the video tours of the other model homes. So check out Lenar playlist on my channel page and you'll be able to see the different model home tours. There's a playlist also on the screen that you can see on the channel page for single story, luxury homes, two story, a lot of different stuff there so just navigate the entire channel page and you'll be able to see maybe what you're looking for okay the HOE fee is to be included on the description I'm still in the process of verifying that so please check out one of the comments once I post that the HOA fee per month okay so I'm super excited guys let's do this let's do this home together hi there before we begin the tour, let me guide you on how to reach Luca community from the Bellagio Fountain. These are the amenities available at Luca community. Schools Robert and Sandy Ellis Elementary School Delhi Webb Middle School Liberty High School Grocery Stores 
Vons, Smiths, Costco Wholesale, Health and Fitness, EOS Fitness, Planet Fitness, Anytime Fitness, Hospitals, Dignity Health Rehabilitation Hospital, Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital of Henderson, Dignity Health St. Rose Dominican Hospital, Siena Campus Henderson, Pet Care, The Edge Pet Hospital, Inspirata Animal Hospital, Seven Hills Pet Hospital. Hello everybody, welcome back. I apologize if my sound is not doing well because uh, I'm using only the uh, sound of the iPhone. So for some reason my DJI mic is not working lately. Um, but before we proceed, I wanted to show you guys your community. So this is the sun, right? Beautiful sun. I saw it setting down into the west. And I like how very clean the community is. So that is your community there. And then you have different models here, guys. So if you have missed some of these tours, right? For example, this Pioneer Single Story, this Vera, right? And then the Sage Next Gen there at the last one. Please go back to the channel page. There is a playlist there of Linar, and you can see all of the Linar uh, video tours that I did for this community. Okay, especially this one. Sometimes people like the three car garage in a single story. Okay, so this one is the one we will feature today. It's so windy today for some reason. This is the Elizabeth 2516 square feet. Three bedrooms, 2.5 bathroom. You have an RV garage here. It's a single story. Really nice to have that porch. So we will go there. Now before you go to your garage, you will be greeted by this beautiful pavers. And then look at the height of this one, guys. This height is actually 14 feet opening. So I, I tried measuring it. It's 13.99 feet high so that means approximately 14 to enter this door and we will check out inside um, and then this one is the porch imagine yourself you have a an area here for you to be able to put your uh, table seating arrangement so you can have coffee in the morning or red wine in the evening this is a large porch guys so Usually, at Linar, they said that structural items you see in the motorhomes usually are included in the price. Okay, let's go. And you, before you enter the home, you have a two-door. What a special entrance, right? Sometimes you only encounter two doors, um, one door, sorry. But now you have a two-door entrance to your beautiful home. Okay, let's enter this beautiful home. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys very important because once you subscribe like and also put those bell notifications on every time i post a video it will notify you so it's located on the right side of your cell phone as far as i remember if you want to put those bell notifications on so i wanted to mention guys there is a post here Right, it says upgraded items throughout the model. Items may include cabinets, countertops, backsplash, flooring, paint, wallpaper, lighting, etc. Right, so they are making sure people are aware that even though they said everything's included, it doesn't mean that some of this. Uh, upgraded items are also included in the price for example this style is definitely not their um, basic tire as fast as far as I remember so real time because this upgrades are subject to change by the builder without prior notice every time someone asks me I usually ask real time the builder at that point because sometimes things change within a day so i want to make sure i'm up to date of what they're including in the base price okay so this is an area where you can put your art right it's a long hallway guys 
definitely long so there's a lot of space for you to put your designs if you want right in fact i wanted to measure this right so this is a nine feet exactly nine feet high ceiling all right this is a, it doesn't justify in the video but this is much wider when you go here in person so there is something going on on the left wing of this house so let's probably investigate that first this is your first secondary bedroom right beautiful stay clever little facts is the code for the day <laughs> okay so this one is also special that is just my terminology guys don't it does not doesn't have it doesn't have something to do with the builder right um it's just my own terminology because every time i see a secondary bedroom with a walk-in closet i feel that it is a special that's only me okay hello guys this one is the bathroom it is a jack and jill bathroom but the good thing is you can close this one entirely and then the only the whoever stays here will be able to access this sink right so this sink so this one is the the shower and tub combo it's a fiberglass and then this is a toilet so this is a very nice configuration that section of the bedroom can also use their own sink so double sink right one two since we're already here why don't we enter this there is a mirror hello guys and you are seeing some lighting here oh this one looks special too because of this uh walk-in closet imagine both secondary bedrooms each right has its own walk-in closet what a special deal now this bedroom looks like a much larger bedroom to me and you have some uh, pre-wire for the lighting but this is the area where you can put a lamp that's as they stage here and then there's another area there most likely here too because there's some sockets there okay so so far we've seen two bedrooms right secondary when you go out of this this secondary bedroom this is the half bathroom for guests hello guys so it's a pretty simple design nothing special on the wall right now but you can make it special if you want once you move in this is the quartz and this is the chrome and then beautiful sink okay and then there is a space there for cabinetry so this is the entrance that we entered a while ago now we're going to go to the main living room area now i want to mention guys this is the door to the garage which we will take a look at in a while okay welcome to your open space dining living and kitchen area i'm seeing a bedroom there just kidding it's a walk-in pantry why don't we enter it right so this is your walk-in pantry that looks like a bedroom just kidding guys so i want to make sure you're aware that this is not a bedroom it's a walk-in pantry the reason why i call it like a bedroom is because it feels like it it's it's large okay so this is nice it's very open here i'm gonna go on this side and span it very slowly so that you can look at it from this perspective right see how your beautiful home is so much open no one will be able to to hide a secret right because if you talk they'll be hearing you from that side unless you really whisper really very low volume this is your living room area they're giving you that door right structurally and then the window oh nice you're getting this huge patio cover what an amazing patio cover okay there's nothing else to call it patio cover okay nice so this one is your kitchen now it depends upon what you choose if you choose a higher level upgrades like this then definitely it's an additional cost 
because I remember this quartz is not their standard quartz. Remember, because I went to their design center and then they showed me this is not the standard. But again, we're going to ask what is their standard because sometimes things change. So I want to make sure I keep you updated. So I normally just ask them right away. Okay. This one, they finish it with a one splash, back splash. Easy to clean. There is no grout. Okay, so this is how your kitchen looks like. And then, this is a one sink, right? They're giving you a top water. And then this elongated faucet. So when you're standing at your island, this is how it looks. You can see the TV and the people that are enjoying your sumptuous dinner. Okay, so much things to see here. We have your dishwasher. They're going to give you that. And then let's see if it's soft closing. Yes, it is. Thank you so much, Lenar, for that soft closing. Again, we'll have to check whether how much does it cost to have a soft closing. And then this one is your microwave. Okay, and definitely it's vented. This is this looks very standard. This one sometimes you really they don't provide the refrigerator, but if you want a refrigerator, we'll just negotiate it before we and you enter into the contract and agree with the pricing, right? Okay, so I'm gonna span it really slowly from this side of the kitchen so that you can see the entirety of this main living room dining and kitchen area i can't wait to go outside because it's going to be darker now so why don't we enter the primary bedroom because that one is closed they don't allow that door right it's definitely locked right now so we're going to enter the backyard on this side now this one has an ac here to control it and then this one is your coat closet look at another bedroom here just kidding this is a laundry room it looks like a bedroom to me this is optional they already included in the post it's not included in the price this is the wi-fi system here wow it looks like you're in the outside laundry shop here i see this in the laundry shop like a long cabinetry wow 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 this is a huge laundry area look at this guys you can have uh, a bedroom for your fur babies here if you want okay because also it is near the primary bedroom now this one what would you do on this space guys it's like a uh a uh, a, a vacant space before you enter your primary would you put like bar here or like cabinetry or seating arrangement whatever you like guys you have this space right if you wanted to utilize it welcome to your primary bedroom your alaskan king-size bed here richard alford will fit in here very well because it's really large look at the space on the nightstand okay and then we're gonna enter your primary bathroom double sink hello guys so this is the large one right you can see how huge it is or long it is there is a frosted glass here that is your toilet water closet okay really nice uh space and then this is the standard shower fiberglass surround with right okay with tabway uh, subway tile easy to clean there is no grout okay this is a long one this is crazy long okay really nice crazy good long okay so this is the area for your walk-in closet it's not the biggest but at the same time i feel like you can make this happen if you put like one side cabinetry there right okay so far very long okay so we've seen the primary bathroom we've seen the primary bedroom uh, walk-in closet and this bedroom is facing your backyard right two single story there 
if you position your lat like this you don't see your neighbor that much right if you have single story all over your backyard side yard now i wanted to mention guys it just happened that this backyard is huge but this is not always the case it really is depending upon uh, it depends upon where you put your house right the positioning of your lot this happened just that it's just in the corner that's why you can see a massive space there but this is how it looks like when they give you this um portico or patio cover this is a massive one like the the post okay and there's another section here this way you can put like a small jacuzzi area right and then that is the area for the gate side gate so if you're uh if someone is doing the backyard here they have a machine that can enter from this side and then transform into a much bigger machine i saw that when one of my buyers is finishing their swimming pool i saw how the small machine was transformed into a bigger machine like a transformer okay this one is a really nice area guys and then you have this design element of course this is not included in the price the the backyard finishes is just giving you an idea of what you can do in a backyard similar to this size it doesn't mean that it will come with it in the price see how if you have this kind of space what would you do here guys would you do a swimming pool or similar to this please comment down below look at the mountains of the henderson area wow okay right we are here in inspirata and if you google henderson it actually is one of the top three i believe or maybe top five don't quote me on it just google it guys safest cities in the united states see if henderson will be there because i remember googling it and then i saw that henderson is part of the safest cities in the entire united states okay so so far so good we've seen yeah this is the uh the one that i could not um open a while ago but look at this guys when you enter your home from your backyard this is how it looks very beautiful okay it's getting darker here because it's already six but i wanted to show you your garage right that's the one we haven't seen yet okay let's do that so this one we'll have to ask if this is included in the price and the reason why is because i've never seen sometimes an entrance from your primary go leading to your backyard so we have to ask this if this is included right because it's structural in nature but i want to make sure i don't say something that's not part of the base okay so nine feet ceiling height this to me is a 6.99 but we'll double check because i'm just estimating i don't think it's eight feet because your height of the ceiling is nine so therefore like two feet allowance there i feel like it's maybe seven feet okay i think this is the one we entered we saw a while ago yes it is okay so far so good what do you think of this beautiful home guys so we haven't checked your uh your uh garage there now i wonder why they put a cabinet here comment down below guys what would you put on this side of the whole way they put something here right sometimes they put the wind uh the mirror there okay let's do this guys this is one of the climax welcome to your basketball court just kidding the reason why i said it's basketball court is because first of all it's too high <laughs> it's very high it's like you can put a bass here no problem in fact i am going to measure right now and it's echoing all right hopefully my measurement is right it's 
23.59 feet. 23.59 feet. Yeah, it's 23.59 feet, definitely. Because I tried to repeat it all the time to make sure, oh, it's like 23.62. So somewhere in that category, but of course we cannot rely on this measurement. We have to check the floor plan. Now this one is a side entrance, right? This is a side entrance leading to the side, right? So that's the side. I have to make sure I close it. Okay, we have to check if they are able to change this to a tankless water heater because right now what I'm seeing is a tank. So imagine this guys, this is a huge one. The reason why I mentioned a while ago that you can actually fit four cars here is because of how long it is. So I'm gonna measure it also. Is Okay. So this one guys is Okay, we're gonna measure it. If I if this measurement is correct, it's 42.35 feet long. So we'll have to double check, which might be around that because if you can fit like two uh, 20 if the regular size is 20 feet, then double that, right? So we'll have to make sure, guys. So I'm just measuring it for purposes of actual measurement, but not exactly what we'll show in the floor plan, 42.37, okay? Now, I wanted to mention, guys, this height is so high that I feel like you can put your own basketball court here, like a half court. So I'm going to measure again this one, right? 17.22 feet high. That's what's showing on my, yeah, it's 7.25, so around that. Okay, so, wow, okay, so this is crazy. Definitely one of those that It's hard to find nowadays, this kind of huge garage. There is a premium. So definitely guys, there is a premium when you buy a home with a garage, RV garage, right? It's not gonna be similar pricing. That's why if you really need a garage that's this high this might work for you um, so imagine yourself going back home from your work or from attending a really nice event at the strip by the way don't forget to check out the sphere right check the screen guys the sphere has a lot of things you can do there inside you can watch movies they said or you can actually watch concert or just the experience is very interactive okay when you lead when you go back home park your mercedes rv or whatever you have in life right some people have huge trucks so if you have a huge truck definitely this will fit in here and you have uh, small cars like single four cars they will fit in here i think if you put it all the way there that's just my estimate because it looks to me that it's 40 feet, 42 feet long there when I measured. Okay, this is huge. Definitely one of those that is very important for those who have huge cars or tracks or RVs. Okay, so I'm closing it now. So we're gonna enter back your home. When you enter your home, this is how it looks, guys. Again, I apologize for the sound because um, my DJI didn't work well and I have to buy a new DJI so that um, my sound will be better. So please uh, pardon me for any sound on the wind, the wind a while ago. Uh, usually it blocks the wind if I use the DJI. Okay, I, I hope this gave you an idea, guys, of how this home looks like. 
Please don't forget to comment down below. What do you think of this home? Is this something that it's worth it based upon the price you saw? Of course, once they uh, offer a price like that, we'll have to check out, right? What we can do for you. We'll have to double check how we will negotiate this because sometimes it's all about asking. If you don't ask, you will not know. So definitely try asking. That is how I will serve all of my clients. Currently, all of the people that I uh, represented, I usually try to negotiate, right? It doesn't hurt to negotiate. We're all human beings. So every time you negotiate, you're also talking to a human being. We're not talking to a robot. So therefore, they have also the capability of being able to understand the situation of buyers especially that the rate now is seven percent above we have to negotiate and ask them what they can do to help us bring down the rate through their builder incentives okay guys thank you so much from the bottom of my heart this year has been very good for me and uh, i really wanted to be able to help you negotiate and represent you if you needed to be represented it's up to you guys it's your decision definitely if it's not me then definitely try to talk to your agent and say i wanted to negotiate right and they'll see if that is something that they can do also thank you so much guys and have a fantastic day today